Okay, welcome to extension two integration. Uh, this is where you really grow up as a mathematician. Uh, I'm going to begin where the textbook begins. So exercise 4A in the Cambridge Ex Extension 2 textbook basically wants you to get familiar with the standard integrals. Okay, the standard integrals are those things shown under the integral calculus heading on the reference sheet. Uh, so uh, you should have one of those. Uh, keep it handy. Uh, if not, uh, jump on the um, NASA website, print one out. Uh, I'll have a laminated copy for you for when we eventually come back to school. Um, but you need to, to, to uh, make this thing your security blanket. Okay? Don't go anywhere without it. Uh, sometimes the, uh, you know, a lot of people look at a reference sheet and they go, oh, look, I get the reference sheet. And they look at all the details on the reference sheet and they go, think, oh, job done. And they relax and, and, and don't worry about it. You need to become very familiar with the reference sheet. Realise uh, what it is telling you. Because it, it's not always apparent when you're confronted with a question how you exactly answer that from the reference sheet. On the board behind me is a question that's basically uh, uh, probably an advanced or an extension one question. But I'm going to go through and show how what's on the reference sheet uh, shows us how to, uh, to, to, to answer that particular question. Okay? So we're asked to integrate uh, 1 over 2x minus 1 all squared. Okay. Well, uh, there's nothing on the reference sheet that looks exactly like that. Uh, but we might be tempted to say, well, OK, hang on a second. There's a linear function to a power. It's on the wrong side of the vinculum. I can rearrange this to look like that. Okay, uh, and this is—I mean, look—if you're a good advanced or extension one student, you should be able to look at that uh, integral and, and handle it no problem at all. But what we're trying to do now in this exercise is see how the the um, uh, the integral calculus uh, uh, exam uh, sort of uh, rules, if you like, that they give us on the reference sheet apply. The very first rule tells us that if we've got uh, f dash x times uh, f of x to the power of n, so it says, uh, and I'll, I'll swap colours for this. It says if I'm integrating uh, f dash x times f of x to the power of n with respect to x. Uh, now, that's not immediately apparent. Right? That doesn't look like that, does it? Anyway, this tells us that the integral here is going to be uh, f of x to the power of n plus 1 uh, divided by uh, n plus 1 plus c. Okay? They don't write it exactly like that. They write 1 over n plus 1 at the front, but it's, it's, the, same, it's the same thing algebraically. Okay? And they make the, the, uh, the distinction that n does not equal uh, negative 1, of course. We'll see why. You would have seen that in uh, advance and extension, but we'll, we'll, we'll go over that ourselves in extension 2 here. Okay. So, but we look at this and it doesn't look like that. And there's nothing on, on the standard integrals that looks like this. Okay. So what do we do? Well, uh, again, our job here is to see how this can be made to look like that. I want to write this integral in terms of a derivative times a function. So I've got a function to the, to the power of negative 2, but I need to write this function to a power as the derivative of what's inside the function uh, times the function to a power. Let's have a look at how we can do that. Okay. So put our red marker away so we don't confuse ourselves. I need a derivative at the front. Well, the derivative of what's, of what's here is 2. So I need a 2 outside of 2x minus 1 to the negative 2 dx. Now this looks like the standard integral. Okay? Well, except my problem is I can't just stick a 2 in front of my function. So I balance that out by putting a half at the front. Okay? Now what I'm integrating looks exactly like my, my, uh, my standard form, okay, from my reference sheet. And so I just apply uh, 
that standard formula. It says 1 over uh, 1 plus n. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, 1 over... Uh, uh, sorry, uh, n plus 1, rather. So n plus 1 is going to be negative 1 times f of x to the power of n plus 1. dx there, I should have written plus c, plus c. Okay. We can check our result by, by differentiating what we have down here. Uh, that's, that's pretty straightforward. I'll just uh, do that derivative over here. So the derivative with respect to x of uh, 1 over negative 2 outside of 2x minus 1 uh, is the derivative of uh, negative a half times 2x minus 1 to the power of negative 1 is negative a half times, well, the derivative of 2x minus 1 to the negative 1 uh, is just going to be uh, negative 1 times 2x to the uh, minus 1 to the negative 2 times 2 minus and a minus cancel each other out, a half and 2 cancel each other out. I'm just left with uh, 2x minus 1 to the negative 2, which is what I started with. So our integral is correct. But look, I mean, don't worry about the, the differentiation part. What I wanted you to get out of this is uh, how do we make an integral look like uh, it, its counterpart on the reference sheet? Now, sometimes it's very, very straightforward, like that example. Sometimes it can get a bit more complicated. Okay? Let me pick a more complicated example and see if we uh, can't have a go at that. So. I'll clean the board and I'll come back with a, with a more complicated example in just a moment. Righto, welcome back. Okay, so um, I'll put up two examples uh, and these come from, from uh, later on in the exercise. One of them asks us to integrate x times sec squared of x squared with respect to x. And the other one asks us to integrate uh, 5 to the power of 2x. It's just going to take a little bit of, uh, of getting used to basically, sitting there looking at the standard integrals and saying what does this look like or what can this be made to look like. Okay? Now I've written them up for you. Okay? Uh, this was a bit of a giveaway really because you see a sec squared and there's only one of the, inter one of the standard integrals with a sec squared in it. Okay? So it's pretty much begging you to say, you know, kick it to me, kick it to me, I'm the one. Okay? So uh, the, that standard form says that we, we integrate f dash x of sec squared f of x and we get tan of f of x. Okay, fantastic. That means that I need the derivative of what's here out the front. Well, the derivative of what's here is 2x. So I needed 2x out the front. I've only got an x. Well, that's easily remedied. Okay, so let me say that this is my integral. So my integral is equal to 2, uh, sorry, a half times 2x sec squared x squared dx. Okay? So I have a half at the front and I stick a 2 in there so that this now looks like the derivative of that function times sec squared of that function. Piece of cake now because the standard rule just tells me there's my half. This is going to be tan of f of x. Uh, sorry, tan of f of x is of course x squared. My apologies tan of x squared plus c. Okay, that's it. Piece of cake. Let's move on to this one. Look at this. Well, uh, this one says that I've got a derivative of this function up here. Except I don't. That's not what I have. So I'm going to do a little bit of work on this one. Okay. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, uh, move over because I'm, I'm, I'm unfortunately having some problems setting up my camera today so I'm going to very quickly run out of board space. Uh, I'm going to come back with this moves over to the left hand side of the board and we'll pick up from there. Okay, welcome back. I've shifted everything over. So when we look at the integral 
of four to the pair of two x. Uh, ignore the bell ringing in the background, sorry about that. We look at the integral of four to the pair of two x. Um, we need to express this, so here's our a to the pair of f of x. Our standard form says we need the derivative, sorry, pardon my fingerprints up there. We need the derivative of 2x out the front here. So I need a 2 out the front. So if I, I can stick a 2 out the front of my integral, I can stick a 2 out the front of my integral, but I need to balance that out. And I balance that out by putting a half there, so a half times 2 cancels out. So now this here mirrors my standard form. You know, f dash x times a to the f of x. Uh, so what does this become? Well, it becomes uh, a to the power of f of x over ln a. And I've still got my half out the front. Okay. Now, we're not quite finished there. Um, what, I, what I did now is I simplified a little bit because if you go away and stick something like this into uh, you know, Wolfram Alpha or, or some kind of uh, math engine on the internet, it might not give you answer that looks like that. Okay, so let's keep on going to look at the different forms that we might end up with. So, uh, well, I'm just multiplying these fractions out. So 1 times 5 uh, to the power of 2x is just 5 to the power of 2x. 2 times ln5 is 2 ln5. So far, so good. Let's keep on going a little bit. What does 5 to the power of 2x mean? Well, 5 to the power of 2x is 5 to the power of 2 to the power of x. Uh, and uh, 2 times ln5, using the log laws, uh, a number out the front of a log, pardon the, uh, the lawnmower noise outside, I hope it's not, uh, no, not too distracting. Uh, a number out the front of a log is uh, that, uh, that number to the power of what we're taking the logarithm of. So 2 ln5 is identical to ln of 5 to the power of 2. Okay, they're, they're equivalent terms. Uh, I'll go over log laws if you need that explained, but uh, you should have seen that when, when you uh, did logs and exponentials in your advanced and your extension one course, right? So 5 to the power of 2 gives me 25, and of course 5 squared is 25. We could get a question that looked, uh, an answer rather, that looked like 25 to the power of x over ln 25, okay? Just as easily as we could have got an answer that looked like this. So I wanted to show you both forms of that answer, so you didn't panic in case you looked in the back of the book or you looked in a, um, uh, a math engine somewhere and it didn't agree. You know, well, look, what's the takeaway? The takeaway from Well, one of the takeaways is that uh, you've got to make sure your camera doesn't run out of battery. Uh, the other takeaway, the takeaway from the actual lesson, uh, is that uh, you need to not panic. Okay, it's the same thing I always say, don't panic. Uh, sit there, become very, very familiar with the standard forms. Okay, um, look, that's only going to come by practice. You know, you, the, the more questions you see, uh, the more you apply them, the better you're going to be. Don't be tempted, even if something looks like it's a really easy one. Still get in the habit, especially uh, now that we're, we're um, uh, just starting the topic. Get in the habit of finding it in the standard forms. Make sure it matches up to what you see that's there. Okay. Um, good luck, mate. Ask me any questions you need. Uh, more than happy to help. Cheers.